dishes. Wait. How's the pasture look? It looks good. <laughs> yeah. I just can't believe that I brush hog this whole pasture by myself. Know, you're, a, you're a, just a crazy, I don't know, <laughs> this is us being kids, you know? Except Grant's over here. Surprised you're still standing by the end of the night. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you have a toddler take care of their own plate. A two year old, actually. Watch the juices. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lindsay, and this is my husband Angelo, but we call him Ange. I'm a stay-at-home mom, and Ange is a full-time entrepreneur. He fixes up the worst of the worst rental homes and transforms them into something beautiful, but we also have a landscaping business on the side. Together, we have three kids and are starting a homestead from scratch on our 30 acres. We live in our barn dominium right now until we start a forever home build. We believe in working hard, playing even harder, and bringing the old-fashioned values back into the home. We have no idea what we're doing half the time, but we know with God, our family can accomplish great things. Hi guys, welcome to Brown's Family Homestead. Today we have true homesteading content, which is nice. We took, I wouldn't say this summer off, but a majority of the summer has just been family time and just appreciating all the things we've gotten done since moving here last year, because we've been here for exactly a year, last month. So. It's been one year of living here. We've gotten a ton done. We have previous videos of everything that we've gotten done because this is the reason why we made this YouTube video is to bring you guys along on homesteading from scratch. What does it look like? Learning through our failures, learning through our successes, but mostly our failures. No, <laughs> It's been really, really fun. Um, we've been getting a ton done, but this summer was a good time to just take a break and we're getting back with it this weekend. So it's fun. We planted our pastures last year and we've had them growing ever since and they are pretty tall. They're about three to four feet tall. All right, he already did one pass on this so far. So there's that, but this is how long it was. Well, we really don't know much about all this stuff, but um, the, there's a, our good friend, our neighbor across the road, he's a a farmer that's been around for a long time and we were asked him should we should we have this cut so we can get some bales of uh, hay and he said that he would he'd cut it because we just seeded the whole thing last year he said that he would cut it and let all that because it's up to seed pods right now so he recommended cutting it and letting all the seed you know disperse and then when we get some rain it'll kind of drive it into the ground and probably have more of a, a lush pasture next year so we can start bailing. What are you gonna do? Something's wrong. It's it's like almost heated up all the way and there's a there's a light on. Oh man, from the compost pile. Hoping that's what it was. Round two. Yep. All right, let's try this again.
So from brush hogging, uh, we got all this seed inside of here. Look at this. That's all seed from our from the plants out there. So Lindsay came up with the idea that we're gonna we're gonna feed all the seeds and, and there's, the, there's a lot of bugs in it. Seed a lot of the or uh, feed a lot of the bugs and the seed to the chickens. That's what we're gonna do. We interrupt this video for an important announcement. If you have not subscribed to our channel yet, please take a second and do that right now. It means so much to us. Like ever since we bought this property, we went from doing law enforcement. My husband was in law enforcement in 2020. He quit and we immediately started a new life and moved out of the subdivision and got 30 acres of land, built a barnuminium and we're homesteading from scratch. We've gotten a lot accomplished so far and we've recorded everything and we will continue to do so. So if your type of thing is homesteading and family, this is the channel for you. So take a second right now and hit that subscribe button for us. Thanks, bye. It's super hot outside, so we're gonna give the chickens some delicious treats, some food that's been going bad in their house. So, cucumbers, salad mix, banana, nectarines, raspberries, and some ice cubes. So, fresh delivery for the chickens today. I got Ready? Come on, Lucy. Come on, girl. Okay, so our landscaping's looking rough because we have to brush hog all of these weeds. I need to weed. Um, our hollyhocks all fell down from a storm, so they're not looking too good. So we have some projects this weekend to do, but this is a good little before because it's just so overgrown. Okay, we're back from church. This is the next day, and we're going on this paddock now. So you can see the huge difference there is. That is like five feet tall, that's crazy. So I think Ange is coming up, so let's see if we can find him. probably the two hottest days that we've gotten. Yeah. Um, so we're going to get some food because it's well deserved and pick up some steaks for my hollyhocks. Um, what else? Oh, tractor supply for cedar chips shavings. And get those spread in the chicken coop. That's all. Okay, we're at Home Depot and I found these for the hollyhocks. So these will work. I don't know how tall they are. Five feet. No, six feet. Perfect. It's getting a little questionable outside with a storm coming in, but we're gonna go um, stake the hollyhocks before the storm takes them down completely. So, let's go. just got an apple from our apple tree so why don't you take a little bite of it for the camera so come over here okay okay take a bite you got one too how is it can I try it is it good mm -hmm. I think there is some convincing in that how is it it's sour you like it it's sour. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. There's spear fishing and then there's spear apple picking. Good. No, that was it. Okay, take a bite. Be sour. <laughs> <laughs> Try it. Try it, Mason. Try it, May. <laughs> he has to hold. Let okay, him try do, it for you. Angela, take a big bite. Ooh. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> Come on, May. Try, May. I eat it. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> try it. It's good. <laughs> Everything is looking so happy, except my flower boxes. I need new flowers in there. I'm gonna wait till the fall though to get some mums. All right, May. <laughs> but everything's weeded and just looks so much better. I found the first one. Look. We are picking up rocks. You see anything like this, you tell me. Time to pick up any rocks so when this gets reseeded naturally, it won't have any weird holes or rocks sitting on it. Okay. Let's see if Daddy's Superman. Oh, oh that's huge. Wow. If it, if it feels like it, it needs to protect itself, it's going to bite it. That's a big thing. See, see how it just lurched at it? It's just kind of scared, so it's trying to protect itself. See how it's biting it? You just got to be careful with it. See, see it keeps biting it? It's scared of it. All right, that's enough. It's trying to bite it. Okay. We're gonna let Say it go. bye! I call this family team effort right here. Yeah. Good job, guys! High five! Good job, Angelo! Taking any extra stones and landscaping. Well, it's not really. We're not really landscaping. I know why we're doing it. So critters don't get in the hardware cloth. Even though we have a big apron underneath the ground. You know, just to be safe. Big boy. Okay, so tonight I made these apple oatmeal cookies. So for Angelo doing such a good job, he gets a cookie. Side note, if you did want the recipe for these uh, Bronze Family Homestead on Instagram, I have a real super easy and really good. This even crumpled up on ice cream. Vanilla ice cream would be super, super good. So this is what we're gonna be munching on tonight. I notice a pretty big difference in the boys when they know they have a place in this family and they have a purpose. And so when we bring them along on stuff like picking up rocks. It takes longer. It's a little bit more stressful because we have to keep telling them to get on over and over and over again. But there is a pretty big change in the way they act when they know that they're helping us and that they contribute to the family um, instead of just not doing it and then just sitting inside and watching TV. It's a little bit more productive. We're having more quality time. We're making it fun. We made it a game. It was more of a scavenger hunt and they got a cookie after. So Lacey girl <laughs> is really sleepy and she was sleepy last night. She had to go to bed so she couldn't be a part of it. You're a little too, <laughs> you're a little too small to pick up rocks, but one day you will, huh? You're the chicken girl. Huh? Are you the chicken girl? Chicken, say chicken. So we have a quarter acre garden that's coming in next spring. We have garden fencing that needs to happen. 
tilling to prepare the land. I don't think we're doing raised beds. I think we're gonna be doing just in ground. Um, so we have a lot of projects that need to be accomplished before spring happens. I'm not sure if I'm gonna seed start this year. It might be just too much, we'll see. Being in the barn dominium, it's pretty hard because we don't have much space up top and it's too cold during the winter to seed start downstairs. So we'll see about that. But next year we are wanting to see if we can make it happen to get cows, which means we need our paddocks fenced in, we need gates, we need lean-tos, at least just one, um, just to start us off. So I don't know. I mean, we really want cows, so we're probably gonna make it happen. But this is homesteading from scratch. We have no idea what we're doing. <laughs>